Hi, welcome to Opsimax Spinnaker training series. In this video, we will see how to integrate Spinnaker with the already created uh, manage and managing accounts. So in my previous videos, we have seen um, how to create accounts uh, for Spinnaker in AWS, both via manual and using uh, automated way. So in this video, we will use those accounts and integrate Spinnaker with it. So, uh, so we already have an instance. So let me log into that instance. And uh, this is the public IP. And the instance is listening on the Spinnaker listening on 9000 port. So uh, yeah, if you can see here, I've opened a new browser and colon 9000 just to show you and verify the Spinnaker is working. So yeah, as of now, no application, nothing is running there. I'm going to minimize it. So what we're going to do is, so you have to authenticate um, uh, the already created accounts. So if you noticed in my previous uh, videos, we had created uh, user, user access keys and uh, passwords and um, IR details. We're going to reuse them on this video as well. So for that, uh, the first thing you need to do is um, log into our OpsMX, OpsMX Pinnacle tutorial and, um, and click on notes and uh, click on AWS HAL commands that text. So from here, I'm gonna use the commands and copy pasting it. I'm gonna command, copy all the AWS providers. Uh, ignore the S3 one, S3 one will be in the next video. So copy the AWS provider content and paste it on your favorite notepad. In this case, I'm using Sublime. So yeah, so these are the commands. We're gonna use it to uh, use Spinnaker to authenticate via uh, the manage and managing accounts. So the first command is using HAL config provider. We're going to use AWS to edit, and we uh, we need access key. So the access key ID is this one, which we got it from the Spinnaker user. So the access key ID is this one. So replace it with this one. Enter. And the second command we're going to use is HAL config provider. AWS account we're gonna add an account for this for for managing account okay so this is your uh, man, ma sorry this is your managed account and this is your managing account so for uh, managed account we need to add a account name so in this case I'm gonna use uh, let's say uh, my EC2 spinnaker that's the name and uh, account ID is this is your account ID and we're gonna use the role called spinnaker manage which we had created already and the third command is um, we're gonna enable the region for it so al config provider AWS account edit and uh, the account name which we will be creating it's a my EC2 spinnaker so replace it here and the region is uh, to verify the region go to your AWS console and on the top uh, right hand uh, there is something called uh, sorry before here you go to EC2 and you can select the region so this is US hyphen East 1 this is the region we're gonna use so here US 1 East 1 that's one and then the next last command is AWS config provider uh, AWS enabled so let us copy the first command and uh, go to your uh, Spinnaker uh, running instance and paste it over there. Don't provide any secret access key. It will ask you the key here. So you can copy the key, which I've already copied from my previous videos. So copy the key and paste it and enter. So this will uh, add the uh, AWS into it, which, uh, which is done. Uh, successfully edited the provider uh, for AWS. And the second command we're gonna use is this one. Help config provider, AWS account, add my EC2 spinnaker in the account ID, it will ask. And I paste it, enter. So it will add your uh, account. And third command is uh, EC2 spinnaker for the region. We're gonna edit that. Copy and paste it. And you're using US East one which is also done and now the last command is we're going to enable the AWS account in the spinnaker paste it 
and enter yeah so now so far we have done like four commands which using hal yard hal command uh, we enabled aws into our spinnaker so to verify all the details uh, where exactly the configurations will be so it will be under uh, home directory slash dot hal config so this is where all your um, hal yard settings uh, will be uh, uh, edited or added so if you, if you are very uh, good with um, hal yard you can instead of running commands you can directly go and edit but i won't be recommending it because we have tools to do that so if you noticed here under the aws section we have enabled it true and account name which i've created which i've given my ec to spin occur and the account id uh, the region which you're going to use the role and the access id uh, the secret keys and everything so whatever you gave uh, on the command line is uh, ad added here on the file itself so if you want to do some changes either you can go for the halyard command or you can go and edit it to here so now the file looks good so now we have to make sure whatever changes we did uh, has to reflect to the spinnaker so to reflect the spinnaker we have a command called hal deploy apply so this command will apply whatever changes you have done on the uh, halyard and it will inform the spinnaker so this will uh, refresh all the deployments and then validate the configuration and then it will enable the AWS settings accordingly. I'm going to pause for a while because it's going to take a moment uh, to do it. Once it is completed, I'll show you and resume it. Oh, there seems to be some error, which I'll be fixing it now. So the error is uh, it, you should be root. So uh, run the command as a root user. So try sudo. Yeah, so this time it will go through because um, uh, last time I ran it without the root access. I'm going to pass for a while again and then resume it once the uh, command successfully completes. Alright, so uh, once it is successfully completed, to verify it, uh, you can run a command called HAL config provider AWS. That will list all the AWS uh, details whichever you added. So, yeah, this is how uh, you can add your settings inside uh, AWS in Spinnaker. So with this, I'm going to conclude this video tutorial. Um, for more uh, uh, future videos, please reach us to aloeadopsamex.com. Thank you.